What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Kelly Travel Spiritually. And on this channel, you know, I help people awaken to the awareness around them. I'm going to jump straight into this video today, y'all. This video is about stop trying to be nice. Okay? Understand that being a spiritual being is about being. Being who you truly are. I know it's tough and I know it's challenging. Because you were taught and you learned so many different things that didn't serve you in the long run. It wasn't even a part of who you are. So I want to tell you to be your true authentic self. Don't be apologizing to people for who you are. Love you. Embrace who you are. No matter who don't like it, that's their problem. When people have issues and it seems to feel like they want to point the finger at you, they just need to point the finger at themselves because it's not about you. So how many of you out there are being too nice and it's destroying you? It is affecting you. It's upsetting you. It's draining your energy because you feel like it's the right thing to do, especially if you became spiritual and you changed your life and you feel like you have to be nice to everybody. Well, I got news for you. You don't. Okay. Being nice, being too nice can destroy you. Okay. It is, it's not safe to be nice all the time, especially if you are woke and you are aware of who you are, then you know when to do your act of kindness. You know when to be nice. You know when you want to do something for somebody. It's despise, I mean, except whenever like you don't want to do something for somebody and you feel like you're obligated to do something for somebody. You feel like you're under pressure that you have to do something for somebody. Like you don't know how to say no. People don't know that there's a big power in saying no. Say it with me right now. No, no, no. No, I'm not. I don't want to do that. I don't want to go there. I don't have time right now. Say no. Saying no is very powerful. Okay. And I know that's something that we weren't, we weren't taught to, to say no, but we do say no. When we mean no, we say no. Okay. And I'm saying that many times because people don't know how to say no. They just go with the flow of people. Like they, people be, they don't want to do something, but if somebody asks them to do it, and they're just like, yeah, I'll do it. I'll find time. I'll make it happen. Yeah, I got you. But you don't even want to do it. That doesn't make you a bad person because you don't want to do something. You do it when you feel like you want to do it. You have to do it because they want you to do it. I'm going to tell you something. Growing up, when I used to be living in the darkness, you know, and I would, you know, say my teenage years, I knew people who were really nice and that they wouldn't say no. So you know what I did? I'd be like, I tell somebody else, hey, let's go ask them if we can borrow their vehicle. They don't never say no. They don't know how to say no. They'll find a way to still say yes before they ever say no. So we basically know for sure that we're going to be able to borrow this vehicle because this person cannot say no because they're too nice. Okay. When you're too nice, people run all over you. They hurt and abuse you. They treat you wrong and they don't even appreciate it. How many times you've been at a stop sign, right? And you, it is your turn to go first, but you allow the other person to go first and you tell them, come on, you, you got it. And they just sitting there looking at you and looking at you and looking eventually if you just stay there and they just go and shoot off like you did something wrong. And all you was trying to do is be nice to them. They ain't even appreciate it. Instead, they got mad because you ain't go. <laughs> I know y'all experiencing this stuff, guys. I know y'all experiencing this stuff because it's happening. It's real. It's true. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just the way it is. Like, when you be too nice, people run over you. They abuse you. How many of you are out there in relationships, right? And your, your spouse or your significant other or the person you're dating, they just run all over you because you don't know how to tell them no because you're afraid to say no. Or how many of you out there got family, right? And you can say you get off work at 5 o'clock. Or if you work for yourself, you stop working at 5 o'clock, right? And they know what time you stop working. And they call you every day at 5.02, 3.05, saying, oh, can you take me over here? Or can you help me do this? Or can you help me with this? They always need something. And you feel like you obligated, like you entitled to say, yeah, I'll do it. Even if you're tired, even if you need time for yourself, or maybe you got something planned, or maybe you got something to do, or maybe you just don't feel like doing it or being bothered with other people, but you feel like you can't say no because you feel bad about it, right? And, and, and you don't, you're worried about how they going to feel if you say no. I'm going to tell you something. Say no. This is your life. Protect your energy, Okay. When you say no, yeah, they're going to be mad. They're going to be upset. But what about all the times you said yes? It's not right for them to be, ups uh, to be upset at you because you said no this one time, but they're going to be upset. Okay, you can't please everybody. 
You understand what I'm saying? They're going to be upset and that's going to make you feel some type of way because you're going to be like, I always say yes. I always got their back. I always go over there and help them. I always do this for them. And this one time I say no, now they feel some type of way. Exactly. Because they don't appreciate you. They don't appreciate what you're doing for them. You can even open and you can hold the door open for a stranger at the store and they'll walk right through and they don't even say thank you no more. Like holding the door ain't even a preach. Not all of them. But a lot of them, they just walk right through. And as if you're not even there holding that door for them. And how does that make you feel? You see what I'm saying? So don't put yourself in a situation that's going to make you feel down. That's going to lower your energy. It's going to make you feel bad. Just because you're an empath, you're a good person, you're a spiritual being, you know who you are. You woke. You know what I'm saying? And you just do nice things for people. It's fine, but don't be doing it all the time. Don't be going outside of your way to do something to make somebody else feel like uh, they, they, they need you. When people need you, don't be going outside of your way doing things for them all the time because now they're going to be expected for you to do it. Anytime they need something, you're going to be the one they call. You ever heard somebody say, I know I can call you when I need you. Just listen to that. I can call you when I need you. You don't ever call to see how I'm doing, how I'm feeling, how was my day. You see what I'm saying? Only, oh, I know I can call you when I need you. You're going to be there, right? You always there for me. And and it, and it sounds so good, but listen to it. That really don't sound good. And it really don't feel good always having to be there for people. And they ain't even there for you. Oh, they'll tell you no. <laughs> oh, they'll tell you an excuse. Make up something. They really And they really lying to you. They ain't got shit going on. You see what I'm saying? They ain't got nothing to do. They just don't feel like doing it for you. But they expect you to do it for them. That's what I be saying. Being nice gets you in some shit. That's kind of how this world got where it is today because so many nice people got stepped on. They got ran over, man. They got drugged through the mud and they turned evil because they got tired of being nice all the time because they were too nice. Okay, there's an extent. Yes, you can be a good person and have to be nice all the time. You know, how many of you are in the smaller areas or if you in an area where you see the same people many times a day or you see the same people often sometimes you see them they hey they speaking right and next time you see them they hide they act like they don't even see you right there and and you are you're a good person so you always the same person you always feeling good about yourself you love yourself so you always willing to speak to people you know what i'm saying and don't be trying to hide and duck and dodge one but them they sometimes be with it sometimes they speak to you sometimes they don't that's just not cool you see what i'm saying this is how people be moving this is how they be moving, you know? When you're a nice person, man, you just get drunk through, and I don't want no more people to, to keep getting hurt because they so nice. There's people I know who are in relationships where people just do them just so bad. Just use them. Just use them for everything they got because they don't know how to say no. Because they just too nice. They so nice they hurt themselves inside because this ain't what they really want. This ain't This ain't okay. But they make it okay because they don't speak. You see what I'm saying? They don't uh, share their voice and speak up and be like, hey, no, I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to take my vehicle. I don't want you to leave me with the kids by myself today. You see, when you do, when you be so nice to people, man, they just treat you like shit. And you know this. How many of you out there being treated like shit? How many of you out there being tired of people treating you bad? Because you, you're a nice person. You don't understand it. And, it. and it devastates you. And it brings you down because you're so nice. You know what I'm saying? You're so nice and you think that's the right thing to do. But it's not. It's not right to always be nice. Because people will use and abuse, especially your family. Especially who you call your friends. They're there for a reason. Stop being, start saying no when you don't feel like doing something or you don't have time for it. If you just want your own time, start saying no and watch what happens. Watch these people disappear. Watch them go talk about you if they ain't already doing it anyways. Watch them drag your name through the mud. Watch and see if you really got friends there for you. See if you really got family that really rocking with you. See if it's really real. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, I, sometimes you can, you, you can uh, just be so nice and happy, having the best day in the world. You just smile at somebody and they just. Look at you like that. Like, dang. It's okay. You keep being you. You keep smiling and, and, and laughing and being happy. Because there's nothing wrong with doing that. But there is something wrong with being too nice. Y'all get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? I don't want to confuse you about being nice and, and being mean. That's not what I'm saying. You know how to balance this out. You know how to flow with this. You know who you are. You know when to do it and when not to. If you don't feel like doing something, you don't have to do it. 
There's so many people doing things that they don't want to do because they don't know how to say no because they want to be nice and they worried about how that person going to feel when they shut them down. You don't have to do nothing you don't want to do. That's why it's important to know who you are. Because when you know who you are, you're going to trust your intuition. You're going to trust your heart. And you're going to do what you got to do knowing you don't mean any harm by it despite what they might feel about you. What they might say about you. It's not going to bother you. It's not going to hurt you because you know that you... Uh, that you, you're being honest with yourself. You're being real with yourself. You know what I'm saying? They always say, don't be selfish. But you know what? Sometimes you got to be selfish in order to look out for yourself and take care of yourself. Okay? You have to take care of you first before you can take care of the world. You can't go out there trying to heal the world if you're broken inside. If you have a dysfunctional life, you can't help other people. You got to help yourself first because things that people do are going to trigger you. So if you are somebody who's always being so nice, I want you to look in the mirror today and understand that this is destroying you and you know it. So don't be so nice all the time, man. Nice will get you in places you don't want to be, get you around people you don't want to be around, get you in situations and circumstances you ain't even trying to get yourself there. Okay, so just be you, your true, authentic self. You don't got to be all nice all the time. I thought that when I first became spiritual, I thought I had to be nice. I'm a very nice, kind, loving person. I, a person. I do act of kindness often. But I'm not going to be nice and let people run over me. And at one time, my family tried to do that to me. I'm going to school. And I know matrix school. I'm in a spiritual school. And I'm going to school. I was going to school last year. And and, and nobody cared about what I was doing. Nobody cared. It's just the fact that I'm, I'm at home. Even when I work from home, they just think I don't do nothing. That I got all this time on my hand to do for them. But they don't give a damn about what I got going on. It's all about what they need. Calling me every second that I'm in school. I got class four hours today. I got to take a test. Oh, well, when you get done, can you go pick up my mess? And can you go do this? Can you do all the time? I did it once. Then they come again. And again. And again, before you know it was on my schedule, it was clockwork. But nobody ever cared what I got going on. Nobody cared if I was busy. Nobody even cared to ask what you going to school for. What type of business you finna run. Nobody cared about that. It's just the fact. Oh, you work at home. You ain't doing nothing. Even somebody I had kids with. Oh, uh, ask your mama she ain't doing that. You don't know what I'm doing because I work from home. Because you are not familiar with this type of life. You can't say I'm not doing nothing. I'm doing a lot more than what you doing. I'm doing what you should be doing. You see what I'm saying? I'm meditating, I'm eating healthy, I'm taking care of myself, I'm going to school, I'm starting my own business, I'm taking care of my kids, I'm staying balanced every part of my life, but you're going to tell me I'm not doing that? You know how much work this take? You see what I'm saying? So I learned not to be nice because people will run all over you. I learned to be me. When I want to do it, I'll do it. When I ain't got time, I ain't got time. Trust me, start saying no. They'll hit the door. <laughs> They'll leave. I'm telling you, the people you got around you, if you want to see the truth, start changing your life. Start meaning what you say. Start going and following your heart with things. If you mean no, you mean no. There's nothing wrong with that. But they're going to think something's wrong with that. So be get ready to lose people out your life. They shouldn't be there anyways. It's going to make space for those who should be there for you. Okay? And that's why I came on here to make this video because it was a message that was coming from me to coming to me to tell you guys man don't be running around being nice especially now because this stuff will really destroy you a lot of people got destroyed for being so nice and they became this evil person now they're part of this darkness because they they were so nice and they didn't understand why people really hurt them and ran over them and didn't give a fuck about them and now they just gave up and i don't want you to give up i want you to stay strong i want you to stay true to your path trust the unknown trust the process trust your intuition follow your heart with this Follow your heart. Your heart will never lie. And when you keep doing it, it's uncomfortable at first. Saying no, it's uncomfortable at first. Cutting people off or stop doing things for people when they want it done all the time. It's hard at first, but it becomes normal as you keep going. Every it's un, You got to make it familiar to you. Okay? You ain't no slave to nobody. You don't got to be a slave to the system. You ain't got to be a slave to your family, your friends, or whoever. Because if, if they really care about you, they're going to ride with you. When you when They're they going to understand when you say no. I don't got time. They're going to understand. They're going to talk bad to you. They're going to treat you differently. They're going to give you the cold shoulder. They're going to talk to everybody in the world about you. They ain't going to do none of that. They're going to still rock with you. So if you want to know in your circle or in your family who really there for you, say no. <laughs> Stop being so nice. Why like being so nice anyways? If you feel like you need these people, you don't need nobody. All you need is yourself, your intuition, and the universe, baby. That's all you need. And the people that's there, that's supposed to be in your life, they got your best interests in life. Like-minded people 
that connect with you and understand who you truly are, not those who don't get it, okay? Everybody that come in your life, they meant to stay there. It's a lesson or a blessing, baby. If they bless, they supposed to be there, they'll stay there and they'll rock with you as you begin to change. Because when you start to change, they all take off, okay? So, I came on to make this video for y'all because y'all know I love y'all. Hug yourself right now so you can feel my love that I'm sharing here with you today because I know it's tough and it's getting dark out there. But you keep shining your light bright. Keep making your bubble. Focus on what you want to create, okay? Because you can create what you want no, no matter what's going on in this world. You can create the life you want, okay? Protect your energy and keep taking care of yourself. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Share this video because I know you know somebody who's being too nice out there. Feel free to comment because, you know, I try my best to engage you guys in this comment because I really love you. I'm here for you. I'm walking with you. Like I say, I'm leading you to the light. I can't walk you through the door, but I can lead you to the light. Like I always say, the truth hurts, but the truth will set you free. Free yourself today. Unplug from that matrix today. Okay? Don't forget to like this video if you like videos like this so that we can share this message, spread this message to the world. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you can get the newest videos that I drop because they don't want y'all to wake up. But I'm going to wake you up. Ain't nothing going to stop me. I love y'all, man. Y'all keep taking care of yourself because Miss Kelly Travis Spears is checking out.